Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to the next episode of Winecore. Uh, whoa, calm down, Amaterasu, you spoiler alert. All right, yeah, there, there we go. We'll be on the option screen. They, they, they don't do anything on there. All right, yeah, so I, I'm here with, with special guest, the lovely Erin. Yeah. Uh, so she's here, and we, uh, like was in the contest, we have a, a plum wine that we're starting off with. The first one we're going with is Hoshi Plum Wine. The first open. one. That That's wasn't... right, you do have two. I didn't realize you were going to burn through both, so <laughs> you fool. the pressure is on. <laughs> we learned we learned on the last uh, episode, or last series with Matt, that uh, two bottles is not nearly enough. Um, so yeah, so this is Hoshi Plum Wine. I don't know if you can smell it immediately from me pouring it, but it is very yes. sweet and it is very tasty. It smells like it. Um, I, I need to warn you, I've never had, and I know it's plum wine, yes. but I've never had sake or anything other than like white and red wine in so my American. entire life. <laughs> yeah. So things out of California. So this is going to be a, an adventure for, for my mouth and taste buds and everything about it. <laughs> this is an adventure for mouth. Okay, so this is a dessert wine and we're doing this the wrong way because we're having it first, but like, you know, fuck it. Yeah. Oh, gum pie. That is very sweet. Yes, it is. That is super sweet. Oh my it's god. dessert wine. <laughs> and it is very dangerous because it is the same potency of any wine. It, I mean, it I think I told you the last sweet, sweet thing I had was um, Smirnoff Berry Ice. And Whoa, it was, Smirnoff Berry Ice, getting so it's, classy. It's oddly, like, deceptively vodka. It's You can only buy it in bulk last time I checked. Yeah. And it's actually one of the higher-end things that Smirnoff makes. And it's goddamn delicious. We made a... We shopped a drink together using that and Sprite, and it's called a Water Temple. A Water Temple? Like, like from It'll Zelda? It'll get you. Yeah. So it's terrible and it makes you hate yourself? Oh god, yeah. It'll make you messed up within, like, the drinks, <laughs> and you regret everything in the morning. So, I mean, this isn't this isn't liquor, but uh, uh, Hoshi Plum Wine is 11.5%, uh, which for something so sweet is uh, is awesome. Uh, it's but shocking. yeah, so it's, it's almond <laughs> and juicy plum flavored. Oh, uh, for the record, if anybody this? wants to be joining us with Plum Wine, because uh, we have the contest up, uh, the best way to have this is chilled, but if you do not have your bottle chilled already, you can serve it over ice. That's cool. Hmm. So, all right. Um, here we go. We're going to get started with Okami. Yep. I'm going to pretend I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is adjust the screen size. Uh, so yeah, we're going to use an X. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> um, so, okay. So, so we picked this game. Uh, because because you like to paint. I occasionally on like some days do artsy things with paper, pen, ink, paint, whatever. Okay. Um, and I recently actually got um. Oh, I wish I could remember what they're called. I'll remember it in like twenty minutes. But they're these brush pens where you'll have brush pens that like they're just a felt one thing brush that bends in the way a brush bends, but isn't. Okay. These are legitimately, they have like a capsule of ink and individual bristles on the pen, so they react much like this pen. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was like, hey, yeah. visual. <laughs> Thank you, Hideki K Kamiya, for helping um, us out with that one. Hideki Kamiya? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> you goddamn gaijin. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I do, I love, um, I love doing that in my spare time, uh, talent or lack thereof aside. Um, so when I, I knew Okami existed, I fell in love with the art style fairly immediately, but I was uh, an Xbox child. Like, I don't know what's up with like, cause like Dan is, is very much a Nintendo guy. And, and so you're a Microsoft, uh, I, Xbox I was Nintendo girl. forever. And then in high school, my boyfriend at the time, shout out Jacob. Thanks so much. Sold me <laughs> when he had his religious revival. He gave up all his <laughs> earthly possessions The fool. in sophomore year of high school. He's like, do you want an Xbox 360 and literally all of my games for 60 bucks? Whoa. I'm like, yes, I do. Uh, that game and that game system, all the games and all the save data was stolen by my ex roommate's friend. Shout out Ricky's friend, whoever you are. Wow. <laughs> so now I'm Welcome a to Shout Out Core, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be forever. I just assume everyone in the world watches watches this because they should. Yeah, this is this is the new this is the new worldwide show. <laughs> uh, it's Mr. Worldwide. Hey, <laughs> you say? Welcome back, Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> oh here you he, here's Mr. Worldwide right here, Orochi. A oh, fearsome like the, cave dwelling beast. There's a Shinto dragon with that many heads. Uh, that is literally that who is this what is. that is. Okay, good. <laughs> is this a lot of Shinto made into a game? Yes. Good. That awesome. is exactly. Yeah. So a typical Great. Japanese fashion, a maiden was sacrificed. So, uh, good. So so Tuesday, typical Tuesday. By the uh, way, so I like. I know YouTube has possibility. I'm going through this very slowly for anyone to to read because 
that's when I watch playthroughs and like, can they not? Can can you please click stop? through everything? You, blood red eyes. Can, I, I I only and got that anyone part. who gazed in and then just they hit X. I'm like shit. I don't know the what story. What happened when they gazed into them? Did they fall in love? <laughs> Did they turn to stone? So I, I guess he like took over people. I yeah. think is what it was saying. Like people couldn't it's, disobey it's him. Shit. Okay. In, in a kimchi, kimichi. Kimiki. I, I, Kimiki. I was very close. A mysterious white wolf appeared. Shout out to my old white dog, <laughs> uh, Teddy. And my old white dog, Drake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Teddy's coat as brilliant as snow was dubbed um, Jake. No. Oh. <laughs> the wolf kept a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the villagi um, and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night. Uh, people assume the wolf to be a familiar of of, uh, of Orochimaru. Wouldn't this be a bad thing then? <gasps> oh my god, that is Orochi pulled from the actual Shinto name, and is that why Orochimaru is a bad guy? And that's in why Naruto? he's. That's why. Um, it's not why he's a bad guy, but it's why his thing is snakes. Oh, that's awesome. So um, I don't watch. I don't watch Naruto. I don't read Naruto. You can't yeah. prove otherwise. I, I I talked about it. <laughs> I talked about it on the show a while ago, but yeah, like I, I like Naruto in the capacity that my oldest brother tells me what episodes to watch, so I only get to see badass fight scenes. Mm -hmm. In that sense, the show is fucking awesome. <laughs> um, when you're not watching the the training missions and when the you ones don't where have he learns to watch, double sexy jutsu. Yeah, when you don't have to watch fucking hey, shout out to Hinata. Um, when you don't have to watch Hinata. <laughs> no, Hinata is like, the best. No, but for like four episodes, her with the same pose with her, one fist and one arm over the fist with it yes. up to her mouth and just be like, Naruto, please. <laughs> I love you, but how will I ever tell you even though we've dedicated like half of this season to it? <laughs> She was my favorite. She I, she very much spoke oh, to, shit. to middle school me. Okay, an arrow happened. Yes. Um, the home of Nami. Shout out to League of Legends. Uh, the village's most beautiful na maiden. I don't. I don't know. I don't know this thing. It, it's a mer. It, it's okay. a mermaid. Uh, okay. Creature. <laughs> Nagi, Nami. God, so much shit. Close, too close to each other. That's the only problem I ever had with this stuff. Is that the names are like are the same so name? Are so close. Kamiki, Kamiya, Nagi, Nami, K Konami, Konami Code. But I don't fucking know. But you play, you play Pokemon, and there are Pokemon with the same absolute. Okay, so I know, I know extremely little about Shinto, but I know that there is a dragon who, with this many heads, gets super drunk, and then that's how they kill it. Okay. Is this gonna happen in the story? You played this, right? I played this like twice, I think, but it was a long time ago. So a beast appeared, eyes glowing. That's my mom. Oh, that's that's, that's, our, that's our mom. Each one gets four heads. That's any Hispanic kid's mom. <laughs> oh dear. All right, so so Orochi was ready to, to to have a sacrifice, but then Nagi, I guess, like like tricked him, and then sliced, and, and was cutting off his heads. Hmm. I think. So, but nothing happened. Oh, but it did. It did nothing. Yeah, to no. Him. This is a very sad story for this village. So this is far. an analogy of an American student who's uh, having his battle against student loans. <laughs> so, as with all art in anything we talk about, it is, <laughs> it is a subtle stab at Western capitalism. Yes. And the iron fist under which we are trapped by loans and debt and See, for anybody who might have been wondering, like, wow, why, why is Winecore, <laughs> why, why is Okami a classy game? Welcome to Explanation Core. <laughs> Um. <laughs> all right, so so we got our boy, our boy, a dog. We got Mr. Worldwide. Dog. <laughs> yeah, fighting Mr. Worldwide. It was Shuanui, the wolf that dwelled outside the village, and everybody was like, "Whoa, what?" I'm, I'm positive that its name was. Is this not um Amaterasu? No. Okay, it's just a wolf. This is a wolf named Shuanui. Okay, I was kind of because I know. All right, I know a tiny bit about this game. In that it's gorgeous, yes. and I fell in love with the art style, and I watched someone play it for like six seconds on a demo in like Target one day when I was a kid. Yes. And since then, I've loved it. I've wanted this game to be a part of my life, but again, I had no access to it. Oh yeah, yeah. So I guess I get, just like playing. She's never played this, so this yeah, is gonna be yeah. a first run through, and she yes. is the one who is playing. Yes. Um, I'm sorry when I'm garbage. So Shirinui let out a massive fart. Blew that shit back in his face, 
lit the fire. Yeah, the big bag wolf huffs and puffs. Yeah. It makes perfect sense. That's actually how that story came about. Oh, that's awesome. Really? No. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do like, from what little I know, I do like that this is like a glimpse at gameplay where the, the brush comes out and then something happens in the, the environment. Yes. That's how much I know. I've seen, like, I mentioned it to someone and I was passively saying, shut up, Max, you're a douche. Um, <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> but I was passively uh, seeing them and he played it for a little bit to kind of like impress me with how good he was at video games. Uh -huh. So I'm like, he drew a circle with it. I'm like, how'd you do that with, with what you have in front of you? He's like, shh. And then something happened on screen. I'm like, that's amazing. Show me more. And then <laughs> more and more games came. I'm like, no, so, no, no, I meant more of that, but okay. So, so missing what's been happening, um, Shirinoi and him are fighting. Shirinoi's having this cool power that's helping him out, but it's not enough. And he's about so to die. He's all covered in back. blood. Yeah, so uh, uh, he, he, Orochi's about to kill him, and he let forth a mighty howl. And then the gods answer. And then the black clouds answer. Why well, gotta be black? That was... All right. <laughs> black so, is darkness. Oh, okay. All right, so... <laughs> so so light, uh, light, light sword. So this is Zelda. Yeah. So he's got the master sword. I'm done with that. <laughs> all right. So yeah, Nagi, who had gotten his ass kicked and then was hiding, now he was like, "All right, I'm back. Tag, tag me back in." <laughs> so welcome to WWE. No, WrestleMania was <laughs> uh, not by the time of whenever this goes out, probably. But WrestleMania was yesterday. And I've been told it was a very disappointing WrestleMania. Really? I was working during. I've never seen WrestleMania. Uh, it's it's. Is it something I'll to watch? What. Yeah. Uh, I saw it last year when um, there's a character named Stardust who is Corey Rhodes, but like one day. Wait, that's a guy. Stardust. Yeah. That's like the gayest wrestler <laughs> name I've ever heard in my life. Like, <laughs> but, but, listen, and that's not even like me trying to say that like being gay is a bad thing or anything. You know, whatever. No, but that's... like, but like very clearly, if somebody's name was Stardust, I pictured it was a stripper. <laughs> So you said Stardust was happening, and I was picturing like the girls who have like the little like round one the little round sign in girls, their hands. The ring girls. Yeah. <laughs> this is no. like a wrestler. Yeah, this is a wrestler. No, He's oh actually pretty good too. He fought the Green Arrow, like the character of the Green Arrow from the show Arrow from DC Comics. Wait, like actually, like that guy? That guy is in love with the WWE. Oh so they're shit! Like, hey, let's give you an arc, and we'll make Stardust a comic book villain because he's fallen so far into this persona as uh, Prince of the of the Universe. Um, very much like, uh, oh my god. <sighs> the game with the ball and like, you're tiny and you're prince of the universe. That guy. Oh, Katamari. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so, another game I haven't played. <laughs> oh my god, we're definitely gonna play that game at some point, because okay. Katamari is a fucking jam. Awesome. It's also the biggest <laughs> fever dream ever. Good. That's what I want when I'm drunk. Alright, so, uh, just real quick, going back to the story, so... Uh, the wolf is so, almost dead. Yeah, so they beat the shit out of Orochi, and, but, uh, and everyone oh, came is poisoned. Oh, no. Yeah, so he's dying, and, and, and so, because everybody used to hate him, because they thought that he was Yeah, because they was thought he was with the demon, yeah. Yeah, so then now they're like, ah, oh, shit, he's not, and then now Shirinui dies. Yeah, that's that's my firmest memory of last year's WrestleMania was Stardust, who always has face paint. Okay. And like, stars. And he's he's insane. He's like the Joker and a Star Child had a baby. It's amazing. So if like the Joker and Captain America had a baby. Kind of. Uh, but he like, <laughs> he it was a ladder match specifically last WrestleMania to 2015. And he brings out his own ladder versus everyone else's, and it's all bedazzled and sparkly. Oh and my god! Amazing! It was the stupidest thing I'd ever seen. It. I, I don't hysterical. even feel bad anymore for saying he's like the gayest wrestler <laughs> ever. He's so good, and he knows so much. Like he was just on Up Up Down Down, um, wherein he just talked Star Wars trivia for a while. Like he just spouted off Star Wars knowledge. I'm like wow. the strangest thing I've ever heard. That's in my interesting. Life. Mm -hmm. All right, so 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 Dude Sword got renamed Sukiyomi, and it's put in the moon cave. Yeah, in the moon cave. I don't know if that's like, a, if that's a euphemism for a butt. <laughs> I mean, to welcome moon to someone. the yeah, exactly, it's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the moon cave. All right, oh, we have shit. colors, Here we so go. shit's about to start. Yeah, now shit's about to get. I've been weird. like one-handing this to where my left hand is on X, so I can drink with my right, and I think that's gonna stop. Yeah, soon. It is, I just figure I'm probably not gonna be drinking while. While playing so the way that we did it with Matt as much as I can is uh, whoever is not playing is drinking and talking and stuff like that. But when then when they run out, you swap. Switch off. Okay. You swap, and then and then the other person get, gets a chance to continue the drink festival. Um, this seems wise. I'm like 
the <laughs> most wine. basic white bitch possible. So I love this plum wine. So I am very, very much near the end of my glass. I am at about mid goblet, which I love. They, you have the most metal goblets. Yeah, we showed them. <laughs> we showed them on on the first episode um, with Matt because I got those from from Scotland, and they're awesome. Mm. The moon sword? sword? The one uh, with the moon mm, on the hilt? No, it's not. <laughs> oh shit, this guy sounds... This guy sounds metal as fuck. Yes. Although, he also sounds kind of dumb. He like, also sounds... <laughs> oh shit, he sounds like something. It, it, the thing is, it sounds like he's actively searching for this, but he just told himself, No, it's just a fairy tale! Like, oh no. shit! God damn it. Turns out that guy was a little bitch. You Pandora piece of shit. You know, it's kind of crazy that all you have to do is just kind of budge the sword a bit and yeah. then <laughs> and unleash the ultimate evil. Hey, I mean, like, that's, that's exactly what happened with the box. I just want this guy to, like, not have a ferocious voice. Like, everybody is feared Orochi forever. And he's just like, Speak oh. the words. I wish darkness <laughs> unto the world. <laughs> like, he is the one head that didn't get along well with others in school. Oh, my God. No, it's, it's like every, every kid's show has always done this. But anytime they have, like, clones, it's like everyone is a different personality. So, like, the main one who talks is this one. <laughs> it's that sad little nerd voice yeah. I have as my default. It just, it reminds me of, um... Ah, new groove when uh, Yzma becomes the cat. Yes. Is this my voice? That is exactly. All right. Really? All, all, all right. So, 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 you, so you've got Orochi's voice down. Oh, good. Excellent. <laughs> a friend of mine like will hit me on the arm whenever I do that voice. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to sending him the link to this being like, you should watch this. I think they really like it. <laughs> shout out to Ryan. Shout, shout out to the dumb personality who hit his fucking head on the, on the thing there. <laughs> the you one see, of the eight. Is, yeah, it's proving, it's proving my theory. Welcome to Game Theories. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Oh, this hey, by thing. the way. Yeah, so, I feel bad for um, laughing when this is literally Scorched Earth right now. Yeah, uh, for the record, we're, we're playing the HD remake on the PS3. A thing I didn't know existed until very recently. Yes. But this is a type of game that I feel deserves any sort of HD anything. Yeah, so this game was made on the PS2, and then it was ported to the, P to the Wii, because people were like, if you're painting pictures, might as well fucking use the Wiimo because that's smart. And then they did this one. Um, did they put it on the Wii U? Because that seems no, even smarter. It's not. Damn it. I don't think so. Not yet. All right. That's so Amaterasu. Village. That I know. Well, I know that wolf. You well, can't fool me. No, that's the statue of Shirinui. So you, well, and with he, markings though. Yeah, but the, okay. So they put those markings on him because that was the blood that was on him when okay. he was getting all of it when he was getting his ass beat. Okay. And then the god Amaterasu is going to come down and possess the statue. Um, so I'm trying so, to like so, guess so, the plot as it happens. Yeah. So so here we go. Okay. We got memoirs of a geisha. <laughs> Wood sprite <laughs> Sakia. Sakia. So Sakura, but not. Yes. Okay. Good. How troublesome! This is just like the ancient prophecy of doom. She's like not really there. She's like, oh fucking whatever. Like, what is this for? It's to bring about. <laughs> She's such nothing, calamity. nothing but opiates. She in is. Her system. She is a uh, answering machine. We <laughs> must act quickly. There is no time to lose. <laughs> My power has diminished them. over the years I spent protecting this timeshare that you could be a part of. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have much time left until the next residents come in. Amaterasu's just like, operative, like, <laughs> operator. Zero. So, someone. Representative. Anyone. Representative. Representative. <laughs> <laughs> Amaterasu, now is the time. We have never needed your power more. She almost has a Navi voice, but like, two octaves too low. <laughs> Shine your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. So I think I've mentioned to you, um, I fell so in love with this art style. I'm someone who has and adores tattoos. Um, this is a character, Amaterasu specifically, mm -hmm. um, that I've wanted tattooed on my body forever, but it's not cool to have something, at least in my eyes, tattooed on my body that I have not played. So if I end up hating this game, I don't believe that's going to happen, but I'm not going to get it. But if what I think is going to happen, I love this game. 
occurs, that wolf is going somewhere on my body. I'm so ready for it. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if I've talked about it on the show before, but like, um, I know that I talked about how in August we're gonna we're gonna, we're moving, and then we're gonna have like a more dedicated studio, which is gonna be awesome. Um, but uh, we're we're probably gonna get a ferret. Uh, and, and by default, my ferret's name is going to be Mochi, because that's really, like, the only name that I can think of that, that would be fitting. But I've also, because I, I, I said earlier, we, I had a dog named Teddy in American Eskimo. I want a white dog, and I want to name him Amaterasu. And shout out to this fucker right here who's just like, hey, the world is ending, and he's just like, yeah, fucking whatever. I, I couldn't help it. Like, she's just like, I'm so sad. Bring happiness to my heart, and, like, wipes a tear away, and Amaterasu's like, I'm tired. I'm puppy tired. So yeah, fuck I, it. I truly don't have time. <laughs> uh, Okami's just like, he, he's like, <laughs> like a super bro he's like yeah fuck it whatever i just i guess i'll take a nap right are you still talking <laughs> thank god your voice soothes me i i want to oh take my god, sleep yeah, after absolutely. this one <laughs> i did notice like i mean obviously she seems very like goddess of, of very nice things in life like she has a very nice boob shirt on but i think aside from behind does she have a butt dress on as well a butt like, dress i saw a little bit of like butt peeking out there Hey, if you guys saw a butt on that, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> also, she called it the, the country hey, of Nippon. Hey, butt Nippon. core? <laughs> of what? Nippon. Like Nippon, but not. <laughs> oh, she's got a butt yeah, dress. See? See? Oh my god, whoa. <laughs> right, I never let's, noticed that. Let's, let's benefit of the doubt. Could be a peach. I think it is. I'm, I'm positive it's a butt, though. It's... I'm 100% uh, positive that's her ass. Welcome to Censored. <laughs> Just like a tiny little, like, smiling hero face directly over it. Oh my god. <laughs> hmm. Hey, what is this? Has something stolen its way into my robe? I, I haven't seen a more likable and emotionally fluid character since Fee. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking hate Fee. <laughs> I grew to love her. Just Fee like, was like the most like garbage Navi. person. Po no, uh, mm. I grew. It, she really grew on me. See, Navi's whole purpose was to be annoying. Fee's purpose was to not be annoying, but ended up being annoying because it was like too try. Oh, I thought Navi was exactly to be annoying, but she. No, like that, that's what I'm saying. Like Na Navi was designed to be annoying and to annoy you into always remembering to do what you needed to do. But I feel like Fee was trying to not be that, but ended up inadvertently being that because she was so fucking in your face. See, I see both in their right, own way. Who is way this asshole? As he's a little flea. <laughs> um. So he felt up literally all of her to make the conversation interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's, that's this really guy culture. this guy is like full of himself. <laughs> no, this guy's the bro. Uh I'm a wandering artist, thank you. <laughs> I was just feeling your form for my next My name's Isu, Isu? so don't fucking forget it. <laughs> Wandering artist, Isun. I do like these, like, name placards, though. It's very cute. Yeah, they're adorable. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you how great I am. All my fucking muscles. He's, he's like, tattle, but male. <laughs> Which, by the way, is my favorite of the fairy iterations. Like, she's just so... What are you, what are you doing? Yeah. Stop screwing around <laughs> in Clock Town. Just go. Oh, and... shit. <laughs> fucking just throwing shit. All oh, right. my God. <laughs> Hi. That's amazing. Yeah, so what do you fucking think? It's pretty pretty rad, yeah? Cuter wouldn't be the word. Evocative, maybe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's with you, fuckface? <laughs> you look kind of down in the dumps. <laughs> can we swear? Oh, yeah, of yes. course we can swear. I'm down with this. Yeah. This isn't the fucking <laughs> Sesame Street. This is wine court. You know what? We're classy, but even classy people have to swear from time to time. I you know choose, what? I yeah. Can that. Can that. You know, a lot of people <laughs> think that like swear words are just like you know, it's just people trying to be <laughs> vulgar. I ver oh whoa. Just eat the thing. Oh shit. Hey, whoa, 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 what the fuck, angry. man? I'm walking here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking touch you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I, I can't say inside jokes. So, <laughs> uh, here we go. <laughs> so, so I was in Boston recently, and in my hotel, it was one of the most um, thin. Oh, my God, he's gonna use his sword against me. It's one of the most thin walled hotels in my life, and there was a couple next door to me where you can tell they were like. They were having a bit of trouble in their relationship. Not a great amount of trouble, but like just enough to where it's a problem. Uh, and they had very thick New York accents. So in the middle of the night, 
Uh, I was I was there with my boyfriend, and <laughs> it, <laughs> it. I'm so sorry. We were watching Jessica Jones. So distracting was this, and we paused the episode specifically to pick up glasses and listen in on this couple as they had the argument of their lifetime. From what I could gather, the woman uh, was either a second wife or a mistress complaining about how his children, the man's children, don't respect her as their new, like, mother figure. And midway through the argument, what made us stop the episode and get glasses, <laughs> he, uh, we didn't hear what she said because she had just dropped to that lower register of you need to listen to me now. And he, <laughs> he in just that super New York, goes, I'm not going to fucking put my hands on you. Can you sit on the bed? We'll watch TV. Have a good night. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> so I, 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 I've heard this story. Definitely. I've, I've heard it before, but I didn't know that she was probably a mistress. It was she was not his first wife. Because that definitely makes the story definitely infinitely not. better. Oh, it's amazing. Like, we we were responsible adults. We had the, the phone ready to call, like, the non-emergency police number in Boston. But we also wanted to make sure that there was abuse happening. And also we wanted to hear the story. <laughs> so, you know, those those layers of being kind of selfish, but also, you know, watch out for your fellow man. And don't stand for domestic abuse. But it was just verbal. And they ended up just watching TV at the end of the night. And it, oh my god, I love them in pieces. Shout out whoever you are. <laughs> Alright, so, <laughs> um, are not so great. So all of his dialogue, uh, I guess that- We need the peach for the village. Yeah, the village has everybody's spirits in it, so we gotta, like, cut it down. If only we had, like, a special power. Okay. There's no way you're gonna fucking reach it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's it's like, uh, Twilight Princess. Everyone's in the twilight, and I have to yes. them out. Okay. Yes, exactly. I'm, I'm replaying that now, because that was my birthday gift was I, I love Zelda to pieces and I got the HD remake for my birthday. So that's that's the lens through which I see all games. All right, and hey, so uh, now that we're finally in control of the situation, uh, uh, next now is- time? Yes, yeah, that is actually like the perfect <laughs> time possible. Uh, so next time on, uh, I'm not gonna fucking touch you. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna sit, watch TV and have a great time. Next time on uh, <laughs> do some donuts. It's, I just want to put in like the cheesy like, go -to. like the car screeching sound <laughs> the, effect. The, it's the Sonic stopping sound effect. From Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, careful! Don't run into something. You'll lose all your Sonic rings. <laughs> Woo! Next time, guys. Bye. Bye.